different um, different structures, different structures depending on the form. Okay, can have different structures depending on the form. So, for example, we say, uh, let's take for example what would be the affirmative, the affirmative uh, form. The affirmative form of this uh, of this verb tense. What would it be? Let's see. What would, in a sentence, okay, using the present perfect continuous, which would be the first element in the in the structure of this verb tense? First, yeah. First, we will start with the subject, right? What would come then? What would come after the subject? Verb to be in the form. Exactly. So, we will have the verb to be, but in a, so, so we're going to have, we're going to use a different tense. So in this case, I have to say, have uh. What would come after have? Not yet, no. not yet. So, no, no, no. Ah. The past past we have, have been, have been, plus, plus the verb in ing. Mm -hmm. Right, plus the verb in ing. Mm 